Hello, this is Boroyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Farming Simulator 22. As we continue our Zilonka run here, start from scratch, feeding my kids, currently on our potato chip and chocolate phase. And I guess junk food is not very profitable because we're losing lots of money, but uh, no, I'm just kidding. It's because we've got a lot of very expensive equipment and things going on. I think we're still going to be okay overall, though. Our overall net worth of our farm is pretty high. So being $131,000 in debt, I'm not super concerned about that. That's not even obviously all of our debt, to be fair, but I think we're still okay with that right now. We don't we don't really have any expenses right this second. I mean, we are doing some leasing, but we're okay for the moment. Once we be able to sell some uh, chocolate and potato chips here soon, we will have a... Uh, be able to get most of the way out of the debt. Maybe, maybe all the way. Let's see, how much does our potato chips currently worth? Almost $70,000 worth of potato chips by themselves. And then chocolate, 80000 So yeah, we're we're right on the edge of being able to get out of debt right now. Obviously, we'll have some more expenditures between now and then, but we should be very close to being able to get out of debt with just the chocolate and the potato chips, which is a good thing. We can kind of just break even through this phase while still making some progress on leasing that very expensive equipment we've got. I think that's an that's a overall a win for us. Plus, we've got a couple of really expensive loans that will be paid off before we're done with this phase. In fact, we got a twenty thousand dollar loan sitting right there, seventeen hundred buck monthly payments. Only got three months left on that. Seventeen months left on our seventy thousand dollar loan down at the bottom. How are the cows doing? I think that's just a little bit more slurry. Yep, that's it. Straw's okay. TMR is obviously okay, so we're good. Alrighty, that is that. I think we're ready to fast forward and get to January. When do we harvest the canola? Oh, it's not till not till next year, July. Forgot that one's almost a full year cycle. Uh, if you haven't been watching uh, my live streams, um, and you're interested in seeing something a little bit different than just straight up farming. I did start last week and I will continue this week. Um, lumber simulator is as I'm calling it. Basically, we're going to be doing some lumber, uh, which is definitely different and unique from the farming. So if you've never seen the lumber stuff done and you don't mind seeing somebody make a lot of mistakes as they learn how to do lumber, then I definitely recommend you join for either the live stream, you know, live, or you can watch the VODs after the fact as well. I do. 
either way helps obviously and it's should be a lot of fun to uh to kind of participate in or follow along or, or whatever so all right so still april and still may for these two yep cows are okay for another month production facilities are okay for definitely another month all right really nothing for us to do in january then I guess I'll check the user equipment real quick. I mean, there's some good stuff here. Hey, look, a little potato thingamajigger. Don't need it. It's kind of cool, though. I mean, it allows us to uh, potentially remember to save some potatoes for uh, our seeding. Actually, that would be a good way to, like, store some potatoes for seeding. Just kind of fill that thing up and just set it off to the side. Uh, what else we got? We got a shallow cultivator. Eh, and then a... We've already got a seeder, right, that we're working with. I think we do. And a lime machine. I think we've got both of those paid for currently. Yeah, we own the lime machine and we own the cedar. Yep, cool. Well, let's go. Of course, all we're using the cedar for right now is canola. Get the cows fed a little bit more. And what's the cows need? Cows do need straw now. We'll drop off some of that. Probably will need to do it. Didn't we say we we're going to do a straw crop this coming up? I think we did. Because I think we're a little bit lower on straw than I'd like. Yeah, I think we are going to need some more straw. Like one, one more crop rotation of it. Uh, I might have been, I might have been planning on planting some already, and I just totally forgot. Probably what we'll do is we'll plant some oats. Yeah, and that way the harvest will be done in time to plant canola as well. Yeah, I think that'll work. One round of oats should be fine. Even if it gives us more straw than we need, we can always use the straw for the biogas in the interim. Or when we're done, I should say. I'll do the math on it before we plant the potatoes, just to make sure. If I do need to do oats, we'll do that on one of the fields. Actually, that might be what we put on the grass field, come to think of it. I might have already talked through all this. I just, to be honest, I took a couple weeks off um, because of family coming into town. So this is my first time coming back and recording some episodes for this series since I took the time off. So I actually don't exactly remember. I remember some of what we talked about. I just don't remember exactly where we landed. So I changed from what I said last time. It's just because I forgot. But I think we're kind of on the same track of we're doing one more thing of grass, then we're done. And then we're going to be planting some things. I think we need one more, one more straw around to really feel comfortable. Um, are the chocolate outputs doing all right for the moment? It's February, so March, and then April. So yeah, April's when we're mowing. April's when we're selling our next thing. A lot happening in April. I mean, honestly, kind of cool. We're able to get us a much larger volume of slurry moving around. 
put it on the back of our semi. Oh shit, this isn't the semi. This is the one for the uh this is one for the what's it called? Um the special machine. Mm. I don't remember what it's under. Uh under trucks? No. I don't remember what they have it under. Is that slurry tankers? No. What's the thing that goes with that? There we go. It's the little class thing. What's it under? Didn't tell me, but yeah, this little thing with jigger. Did we use that in the? Did we use that with the pigs? Maybe I don't remember. All right, so let's fast forward to March. anything used i don't know if i've seen it with nothing used very often uh it is march it is time to oh no yeah i was gonna say it's time to plant potatoes isn't it it is as well as the oats okay let me just i'll double check the straw here um yeah let's just go ahead and look at it real quick so we got straw how much do we have straw we have 1 liters there which i don't think counts the uh straw that's in the uh over here TMR that's what I'm looking for and we need as much straw as we have hay basically so yeah we need 200,000 yeah we probably just need another field of straw okay so in that case we're going to well first off let's grab you to load up some of that please Good. Uh, let's get you filled up on milk. While you're doing that, let's grab you, maybe. Let's grab you, actually. Take a load of slurry over, we'll pick up some digest it. Oh, you know, we'll do the we'll do the oats next month. So yeah, I gotta remember that. We don't have to do oats this month. I wanna mow and I'm just gonna put the oats on that little grass field. I think that'll give us enough straw. The uh, digest it started, and then we can get the uh, potatoes being planted behind that.
you rolling. Let's get... So we'll drop off some milk real quick. That guy, a little bit of a head start. Although we shouldn't need much because the potato guy is going to be slower. cow's doing basically out of milk after this they need a little bit more tmr little tractor needs <laughs> repairs so bad just can't afford it We're keeping it moving along and functioning off of duct tape and oh wow we don't have any seed um hmm and we can't buy seed uh yeah, technically we might have some seed in the other in our planter and our cedar over there Might not be enough seed to get our data fields done. Might have to take a loan out after we finish selling our chocolate or whatever it is next month. Just to get us back positive enough to buy some seed. That guy rolling. Um, go by and drop off the milk thing.
right, we'll pick this up. Go get some TMR. Is that all we need right now? Yes. All right, get that done. Let's get started on this other field. Really don't use that much digestive, do we? The fact that the uh, potato... Um, Rows have snow on them. It's kind of throwing me off a little bit. It's like white flowers. that dropped off how you doing you're doing all right we run out of seed pretty quickly all right you're done Crazy how much these couple of things, like <laughs> these things right here, the leasing costs on, especially these two up here, are so expensive compared to everything else we got. I mean, that's really been all of our money, right? Leasing costs. Loans is twelve thousand. That's about a half and half. So loans and leasing costs are pretty equivalent. But again, unlike, unlike in the base game, the fact that we're using that enhanced loan system means that we are making progress. Like every, every month that we pay a loan, yeah, we're, we're going into debt right now. We were going negative, I should say, right now because we're paying off the loan, but we're paying off the loan as opposed to the base game where all you're ever doing is paying off interest, which is not a good way to deal with loans. My student lo student loan debt feels was like for a long time I was could only afford interest and so that's not a good way to live. You live twenty pay pound student loans for twenty years and you end up only have only paid off ten percent of your loan. It's just insane. It's so insane. Student loans are so garbage.
All right, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in there. When we come back, I'll probably have a little bit further along with the potatoes. And we'll see where that gets us. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.